welcome back to another Swift tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how we can set up a picker view in our iOS app. So first and foremost, let's jump into Xcode and create a new project. We're going to stick with a single view application. We are going to call this app picker view and we're going to uncheck this include unit tests irrelevant for this video. Save the project wherever you'd like. And let's get started by expanding our Xcode window to give ourselves some more room to work. Let's head to our main storyboard and add a picker. So if you're not familiar, a picker is the click wheel type looking thing that is found around iOS and many of the first party apps as well as the second or third party apps. So if you go to the uh, native clock app, you'll see that the timer is a picker where you can select an hour, a minute, and an AM and PM. So to add a picker, we can hit the button up here to get our library, search for a picker, and we can see that there is a picker view or a date picker. A date picker is a customized picker view, uh, spe specialized for dates as the name implies. We're gonna stick with the picker view. Let's drag it on here and let's apply some constraints to it. Let's say that this picker view, well, actually let's center it first and foremost in the container vertically and horizontally. And let's also change the background color of our view to be black. And let's click on our picker and change its color to be white. That way we can see it more clearly. And let's just hit Command R to build and run this app and we'll see what we get, if anything. Cool, so we're building and we should see this turn black. And we have our picker in here, but we can see it's empty. So we need to actually do a couple of things in code uh, and also set up an outlet to get stuff, items rather, in this picker view. So what we need to do is go to our view controller. First and foremost, we're gonna add a IB outlet for our picker view. So we're gonna do picker is gonna be a UI picker view. And we wanna set on this picker the data source. And we'll also set picker.delegate. And we also wanna implement both of these. So let's create extensions down here. And we're gonna do UI picker view data source. We're gonna copy and paste this and do UI picker view delegate. And let's see if this error goes away as it should. Now we get errors in here because there are some functions that are required for the data source. So we're gonna click it and then click fix me and we'll get these two stubbed out functions. And the first one here is number of components in the picker view. And we're gonna say return, let's say one and we'll say picker view number of rows in component. And we'll also do return of a number. Now let's do 10. And let's see, we need one more function that is escaping me. So let's click into this and see what the third one is. So we have this picker view, which is number of components and number of rows and component. And we should have another function in here, which should be the actual title for the row that's gonna show in there. Ah, so it's called title for row. So you can see here it's picker view, picker view, title for row for component. And there's also one right below it, which is picker view attributed title, view for row, so let's do, let's see, let's do title for row and let's just return test. Let's go back to our storyboard and we're gonna connect the outlet to this picker view and run the app and let's see what we get. We should get components and rows in our picker view. So let's connect this like so and run it. And we'll see if we implemented the correct function, which we did. So we now have one component and a component represents the number of columns that you can actually scroll. 
So if this was a time picker, you might want to do a component for hours and a component for minutes. But in this case, we did one component and I believe we did five rows. So if we go back to the view controller, we can see that we've returned actually 10 rows in here. So if we count these really fast, we've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's a basic picker view. So what we're going to do before we wrap up this video is show how we can uh, display dynamic content in here. So let's say we want the user to be able to pick from a picker view of fruits. We're going to create a array up here of those fruits. Now these can actually be models, but in our case, we'll use strings. So we'll do apples or apple, orange, banana, if we can spell banana correctly, grapes, uh, let's see what other fruits are there, strawberries, and let's do watermelon. And what we're going to do with this data is we still want to return one component for this first function, but the number of rows in that component, we want to show uh, the number of things in data. So we're going to say data.count. And the title for row in this function, we don't want to show test. We want to actually show the thing at that position in the data array. So we're going to say data. And this parameter that we're going to give it is this row. And let's build and run. And now we see we have a picker and we have our content in here. And for the, for the sake of uh, just doing a quick last thing, Let's set this to two components. And now we'll see that there will be two components of those fruit sections. Just so you guys can see the difference of components. So now we have these two components in here and we have our fruits from our array. So that's how you can set up a basic picker view uh, in iOS using Swift. If you like the video, smash that like button below. Subscribe if you're new. I do daily Swift tutorials. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.